Hello everybody and welcome back. We are playing some inscription. We just can't stay away. We are becoming just as lost in it as our dear friend, the Lucky Carter. So, with that being said, let's get into the next battle. Now, you had it on the... I thought we had already set it up, wasn't it? It was Skull. Wasn't it Skull Wing Hand? Okay, hold on. We'll have to fight the training dummy again. I thought I had already set it up. Okay. Put you there. Set you over here. Okay, so skull. Now, let's swap that. No. Okay, I, I suppose. Okay, we need something with death touch, so let's skip the turn. that there. I think this is the one where... Yep. And we'll go ahead and use the skill. Okay, so skull wing. Nothing else. Skull. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's what we had. With skull wing hand. Unless that's supposed to wing be wing.
Okay. Okay, so that wing is second. I'm taking from the two spatters on it. Okay, okay, all right, okay, all right. Skull is three, which means, okay. All right, so it goes hand, wing, skull. Well, that's what I have. Wait a minute. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, there's three splatters. What am I missing? Wait. Damn it, I think I know what I have to do. Okay, I think I know what I have to do now. I have to I have to solve it here, which it's already done. But then I have to beat those cards in that order, I think. Okay, uh, so yes. Oh, damn it. Uh. Yeah, switch. Okay, so that's three. Okay, this is for the greater good. Okay, now.
now we need this. Put that right there. Okay. So now we need to put that there. There. That's three, two, one. What am I doing wrong? to use challengers like you as his playthings to make it more perverse. He thinks you'll actually enjoy it. Try to use a mix of different types of cards in your deck. Utilize your bones, blood, and energy. Woof. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay, I just didn't want to waste more time on a battle in the video, because, yeah, we already battled it twice. Um, I do notice after you defeat it with the... <clears throat> the first sigil is the skull, the arm immediately comes down, so let's try... Hey, What the fuck? Just imagine you are an ice cube, slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh, I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a spear is... Don't you fucking do it. Well, it was worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. No, you won't. Why does that card have a hole in it? Okay, um... Let's see what we got. Uh... 
Oh, shit. Okay, we can get a couple out here. Okay, now... Beautiful. All right, great. Oh. Okay, we get a skelly. Put you there. Damn right. Hmm. Perhaps I will not be central to his strategy. I care not. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. Jesus Christ. Take this pack. Hey, hey, we get a skelly. Go. With pleasure. But first, there is something I must do. We have to go all the way over here and buy a pack and then hope that we get a certain card because we need a certain card. You wish to trade? Okay, well we can buy one. Oh, that doesn't change, huh? That's hilarious. None of them are what we needed. Alright, let's do this. Reed's top sigil is found by the greedy. So that's in here. Rabbit. Notice a sigil where a card used to be, so wing. Wing is the first one. The middle sigil is found by the pale. by the pale. And it's not pale like bucket, it's like... Okay, let's go down these floors and look.
Hmm. What's the other clue? The bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing. Or by those who hear too easily. Hard of hearing, or by those who hear too easily. Rabbit? Found by the pale. What's all this over here? Okay, so Skull is one of them. Oh, I was just guessing. At last! At last! Stimulation! My test has been sensory deprivation, you see. To unlock full potential of my mind, you see. It's unlocked now. Hear me, Magnificus. I'm ready. We have to battle. Okay. Alright, I love the hype. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not much better. Okay. Oh, wait, actually. Yeah. That's good. I'll pay that. That's right. Um... Damn right. That was incredibly stimulating. We are done here, right? I wish to see the light again. To sing. To dance. You wouldn't leave, would you? If I open the door, you'll stop on by on the way back and let me out, right? How do I let you out? What's this? The note reads, Dearest Grimora, I believe Poe's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, this great transcendence will have cat catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider. What's in here? 
What's this? Hey. We're a lot closer now. Will that do anything? You gonna take me away? Why is that a thing? Okay. Let's just go back. Here, we'll stand next to you. Ugh. You are here at last. How do my pupils fare? No matter. There are far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay. You are the brush, and the artist moves you with the terrifying mastery. Ooh, Jesus Christ, that's, that's a pretty cool effect. My eye aches with premonition. The future is very, very grim. First, we must battle. Behold, the brush of the scribe of magics. My pupils would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card. But that is not the full extent of its powers. This one needs some bleach. Now for a bit of color. This card is acceptable. Are you just going to change every damn card I have? Oh, come on. Okay, I guess that one was fine. What is this? Okay. Oh, come on. Hmm. I must be slowing down with age. I may need to set my brush upon my own cards once again.
Okay. Okay, good. Very well. Oh boy. Very well. We have battled, and now I may speak. You see. My eye. It aches because it remembers. It was excised. By none other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. And a beast he is. Arrogant. Single-minded. Obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become hedgeman. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be especially aware of. Go, pal. Okay, so I'm going to guess that it's Poe because of the note. Sorry, but not letting you out. Plus, Poe is the only one with technological sway. So did... Did Poe... Did he betray us the whole time? The whole time? Let's see if we can't pull that card again. Oh, we have one. Oh, man. Can't it be something else? Oh wait, I wonder if it's because... Why did it give me that many? <laughs> so 
So how do we change who we go after? This time, Challenger, choose the scribe that you will replace. You. Yes. <laughs> Suckers. Oh, you actually picked me. Great. I can skip past the part where they whine at me. Let's get this over with. I've got some big plays to make. You're supposed to battle the scribe that you picked, but like a powered up version for the finale. This is going to be different. No, it's going to be much of the same. I'll just leave this here. That's the fucking box that they were working on. I gotta give it to that dredger. Not as useless as I thought. That's like actual code. Like code from the game. That it's just glitching. Do this. Try again. That's the ticket. Error corrupted chunk. Ho ho ho, Jesus. What is going on? Wait a minute. This is just the beginning as if this was Leshy. But now it's Poe. You done gawking? We can start? Good. This is Botopia. A once great technological paradise. It's ruled over by four, uh, uberbots. That's right. And you've got to get out of there and beat them. Why? To perform the great transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means. You want it, okay? Botopia used to be safe for travelers. Now rogue bots block all the major roads. You're not used to seeing five lanes, are you? Unless you could never pull that off. We have one energy, huh? Empty vessel.
Why is my hand so shaky? Oh, that doesn't give me an energy back. Okay, what a waste. Wow, these cards suck. Okay. Okay, good. Sweet. We barely made it out of that. The best defense, other bots. You carry a spark that can uh, reactivate old bots. Add them to your deck, you know. When they fight for you, then they fight for you. Uh, let's go with that. You'll need more than a few reactivated bots. That is, if you truly wish to enact the Great Transcendence. Botopia has some of the most OP items just lying around. This will recharge your energy one turn pretty good. If you're smart, you'll use your items liberally. You replenish them at a waypoint, obviously. Okay. Um, let's get an empty vessel. Put that there. No, wait, wait.
I concede. Let's move on. When a card bearing this sigil is drawn, the sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. When a creature moves into the space opposing the card bearing the sigil, they are dealt one damage. Parishes a random card is created in your hand. Oh yeah, let's do that. Modify yours. Give them OP abilities. Choose a card from your deck. Uh, let's do that. Let's see. Sweet. Satisfied? You're almost at the waypoint. Don't choke now. Put you there. Get an empty vessel. Hey, I'll take that. You made it to the first waypoint. Cool. Your items are recharged. Bots that you've destroyed in the area will stay that way. If and when you do perish, you'll be brought back here. It's an elegant system. What, is, what does the money have to do with it? Wait, wait, wait. Glorious commerce. Your robo bucks are accepted here. Oops. We have no robo bucks. Eastern Botopia. Not much of value out this way. But you've still got to explore here. You know, for the great transcendence. See we have here two one
fantastic. Leap bot. Energy boy. Or bot. Let's do that. Can we stand up? We can't alter our deck. I actually want you to win, but it can't be that easy. You can go back to the waypoint, but all the rogue bots you've cleared in this area will respawn, so you sure? Okay. shit. Boom. All your money is gone. Great work. You want it back? Then get back to this spot without dying again. Back to the last waypoint you reached. Just get back to where you were, right? Not so easy. All the rogue bots in that area just respawned. Okay, everybody. I guess right there is where we're going to have to end this episode because obviously it's split because I split this video by doing the second, no, it would be the third battle with the dummy. So I have to just edit that together and keep it within 60 minutes. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all. And 1K gang, let's go. I'm very excited.